Did you know that healing power is always flowing from God? It is always an immortal power, an immortal quality of God that is forever flowing out of the heart of God. It never stops flowing. We only stop receiving it. And so at any time that we begin to get back in the type of touch with, being in touch with God, in fellow, true fellowship with God, in real prayer and real uh, and direct uh, understanding of God, the healing power begins to flow again. And so if we want to be healed, then we need to realize where the healing power comes from and, and go there, get under that spout, as it were, where the healing comes out, get under the spout where the glory comes out, and we can receive the healing power, which is always flowing, and we can be healed and raised up. But we should not look at that as something out of the ordinary and something that just has to be you know, stimulated there at some point or has to be decided upon at some point or, or, or God will send healing this way sometimes and that way sometimes or sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. It is a healing. It is a, a healing is an immortal power that is a quality of God, you know, just like love, joy, peace, and, and, uh, uh, and uh, all the other qualities of God. Healing is a, a direct quality of God that is an infinite and immortal and forever as God is. So let us real uh, let us begin to revive ourselves to the realization that healing is always with us and can take place at any time. And then we are able to get ourselves into uh, the idea of praying for healing in our bodies and in those in which we minister to without doubt and, and without uh, equivocation or equipment, we know that we can receive the healing power. Now, how powerful is the healing power? How powerful does God's power flow? How powerful is God and His wonderful immortal power to heal. Oh God, how powerful is the resurrection power. He said, I am the resurrection and the life. Oh, how powerful were the words of Jesus. When he said he was the resurrection and the life. Oh, how powerful were the words of Jesus. When he said, take up thy bed and walk. Whoa, how powerful were the words of Jesus. When he said, by thy faith thy heart may hold. Oh, how powerful is the word of Jesus. I say, were, were the words of Jesus and are the words of Jesus. How powerful are the, is the presence of Jesus. How powerful is the presence of the Holy Ghost. Oh, how wonderful and magnificent is the power of God. How marvelous and to be awed is the love of God. Oh, what can we gain by sincerely and completely and regularly beholding the power of God. What is there within that beholding of the power of God that can change our lives and raise us up and put us on the higher ground? Oh, the power of God that what is in that substance of the power of God that can raise up people from sickness illness and incurable diseases. It is the immortality of God, the eternality of God, the immortality that flows in that river of living water that flows eternally out of the heart of God and in which he said, if you come unto me, you understand me and you understand what I'm telling you 
and allow me to work through you that out of your innermost being would flow the immortal, the same immortal water, the rivers of life, the rivers that are able to resurrect you and raise you uh, uh, be, and help uh, your, uh, your, the power of God that is the resurrection in the life can flow from you and out of you and raise people up and heal people and put them on a higher ground. Oh, yes, uh, the truth will set you free. You know, the, the truth of the Word of God, that's what we get when we begin to come and receive from God those rivers of living water. We begin to receive the truth that sets free. We begin to receive the immortal power of God. We begin to receive the eternal healing power of God that flows in us and without us. And the healing power can flow in our words that we speak if we speak the correct words that are the truth that sets free. And the truth that sets free is that we are healed always and all for all time by the power of God because of the eternality and immortality of God himself and the rivers that flow out of him are just as immortal and eternal as he is and the healing power that flows out of him is just as immortal and eternal as he is and so if we want to know how to have the healing power we it is to get in that river and understand what that river is where it comes from and how much power god actually has and you know how omnipresent omnipotent and omniscient god really is you know we we uh we lower the the uh, power of god and the presence of god we say god might not be present in a certain situation you know, God might not have power in a certain situation. He might not be all knowing about a certain situation. God knows that health is immortal and that health is flowing in that river. But we will say he may not know that for one certain person, you know, that appears to have an incurable disease. He doesn't know that, he, that the healing power is immortal and eternal when it comes to uh, that one particular person, he's, he, he says, well, he, I know my power is eternal and immortal and always flowing, but I don't know that it's going to be powerful enough to heal this one incurable disease. But we know that that's a fallacy. Of course, that's a, that's a, a fallacy. And of course, that's totally against God's nature. God is all knowing. And when he knows that healing power is all powerful, then that means healing power is all powerful. So we need to really stop and really think about what God really is, you know, and what he, what his power really is and how immortal he really is and how all knowing that he really is, you know, so God knows that there's not any incurable disease. So if God knows there's no incurable disease, we should also know there are, is no incurable disease. If God knows he's got the power to heal anybody and everybody and is willing to heal anybody and everybody, so should we know that? You know, and that is the whole thing about not being not being able to receive healing or not being able to heal somebody is that we don't actually know that everybody, you know, we don't know beyond doubt that everyone can be healed or that every disease can be healed. So we've got to come to that place. we got to come to that place where we can pray long enough and stay in tune long enough that we can thank God's thoughts after him. Thank God's thoughts after God rather than guessing about what God is thinking. God has immortal thoughts about everything and his thoughts are all powerful. You know, there is no flaw in God. There's no less than immortality in God. There's no less than eternally uh, our omniscience, our omnipotent, and I'm and I, I'm not presence of God. He's present right where that so-called incurable disease is. 
So how could the disease be incurable? If God is present right in that so-called incurable disease. We have, it is our, per, our uh, ability to have the faith and the recognition of God's power that determines where, whether we will be able to receive the healing power of that incurable disease. So let us begin, oh dear God, to have a better spiritual understanding, a greater power of thought, a greater power to understand the divine thoughts, a better understanding of how immortal and eternal and how all-knowing God is and how much health and healing power is in God, how much health and healing power is in the river of power that flows from the words of Jesus and flows out of us when we come to Jesus and receive his power that is like the living water that flows out of our innermost being. That water being immortality and, and eternal power and eternal life and, and a resurrect, eternal resurrection power that can flow through us when we go to Jesus and pray to receive his power. We come, in other words, we come to Jesus. We come to Jesus by coming to our knees in prayer and asking for the power of God to flow in us. And then when we have that power of God flowing in us, then the healing power is flowing in us. And then the healing cannot be stopped. The healing cannot be prevented because the power of God is flowing in us. And the power of God is... Uh, is so powerful that there's nothing uh, that can stand in its way that is unlike God. Everything, ha everything in the wake of the flow of the power of God has to become like God. And everything unlike God uh, has to be, uh, is, has to be just dissipated completely uh, in the wake of that flow. Because that flow is the power of God and his power is perfect and immortal and eternal and has all the ability and power that is needed to do away with anything unlike itself. So let us dig in to realize, oh dear God, that we can be healed. If you're needing healing right now, I'm going to pray that you will understand that you can be healed, first of all. And then you'll understand where that healing comes from. And I'm going to pray that in the blessed Holy name of Jesus, you'll be raised up now by the power of God, by the immortal eternality of God, by that river that flows out of God, by that river of living water that comes from God, that it washes away anything unlike itself. Oh, dear God, that gives you that resurrection power. He is the resurrection and the life. That you come unto Jesus, then he flows the resurrection and the life. He flows the healing power. He flows uh, uh, and washes out everything that is of disease, anything that is incurable, anything that is unlike him has to wash away. Oh, dear God, I pray now. Oh, dear Jesus, if you want the anointing to heal, then dear God, in the precious name of a, a precious holy name of Jesus Christ, you will anoint this person that's listening to this message with the healing power. Oh, dear God, this person that's sick or ill. Oh, dear God, in the blessed name of the Holy Son, Jesus, heal them and raise them up. Oh, by the power of God. Hallelujah. Give us more power of God. Oh, give us more divine power now. Give us more of that flow right now in the name of the Holy Son Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen and amen. Oh, we will teach Brother on this as we go along. Oh, dear Jesus. Bless us now and in that precious holy name of Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Whoa. Oh, I hope that's good. That'll, that'll have to be the last one. Uh, oh. Well, we have to do the teaching. Okay. Oh, I didn't stop it. 